Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another Trucking with Trucker D. I'm Trucker D, and uh, we're back at it again. Well, 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 y'all. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? We're here in Calumet City, Illinois, and we were told, and our rate confirmation even says, we have an 8 a.m. appointment here at the Gateway Warehouse. Well, I go in there. And they don't have an appointment schedule for me today. So now I got another load booked for 3 p.m. this afternoon. And it's supposed to take me back home. And now I got this load on my truck that I can't get off here. You know, I'm half tempted to tie a strap to those poles right there. And hook the shit to the back of the fucking... Uh stuff that's in the truck and I'll just drive forward until that shit all falls out I don't care and then I'll sign the paperwork and send it over to my job broker you know this is ridiculous not only are we getting screwed with rates lately but now we get to places like this and shipper receivers don't want to don't want to work and there's literally three trucks here that's it three and they're telling me oh they'll get it off the truck today but I had to wait till 4 or 5 o'clock. No, I got an appointment. I had an 8 a.m. appointment. Get the stuff off my truck. You're not doing anything else. Give me a high low. Let me get it off the truck. And then you guys can sort it out yourselves later at 4, 4 or 5 o'clock. So now I'm waiting for the broker to get back to me. She just told me 20 minutes she'd get a hold of me. And uh, we'd get this figured out. But I'm just irritated, man. I have... I'm trying not to make I'm trying to make money out here and I'm getting screwed. So I'm hoping that we can get this taken to an LTL company or and they can deliver it later. Or um we can take this to a cross docking place or something. Because I need this off my truck, I need it off my truck now. You know, it's gonna be hard to get this off my truck at the last moment too. And it screws me up for next week as well. 
because I was supposed to uh, start my Monday off with another load. And now I'm stuck with this load on my truck. Not happy. Really not happy at all. You know, this week was going smooth. Everything's been going smooth lately. You know, I'm still making money. You know, it's it's keeping things rolling. The amount I am making. Um, yeah. I got a tax appointment tomorrow afternoon I have to be home for. So, let's recap though. How did we get to where we are this week? Well, y'all, we started Monday morning with a load from Brownstown. Another Uncle Ray's load heading over to uh, Milton, West Virginia. We started my weeks out a lot heading down to West Virginia. It's been a common thing lately, but hey, it's decent pay. Sometimes the deadheads suck, but hey, it is what it is. We're actually heading down to West Virginia next Monday. Um, Then after that, we went up to Circleville, and then uh, we picked up a load there at the Old Sofidel again. Paper towels going to the Kroger, D.C. in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, we got over the Kroger. The appointment was at noon. I got there at 10 and got out of there by 1230 to pick up. And then it was literally a two-hour drive. I sat in Kroger's parking lot all day long, went and explored on the scooter, and just hung out. Got out of there about 1.30 in the morning because I had an 11 o'clock appointment. And then uh, headed from there, I went over to this uh, Quality Inn where they said they had truck parking. I got there and their truck parking lot was all coned off and full of craters. So I went across the street to this uh, American Furniture Freight uh, parking lot where there was a Lowe's. There's a couple other trucks parked there. So I just said, this is where I'm parking for the night. And I parked there. Alrighty. So now I feel like a complete asshole because I just went off on those people inside there. Uh, Sarah just called me back from Transloop. She said she's totally sorry. She totally missed uh, the appointment times or missed scheduling the appointment with this load. And she called and begged and said the earliest they can take me is on Monday. I said, no, I can't. I was like, we need to get this off the truck today. Um, <laughs> there's no way I can, you know, I have scheduling. I, I, I'm not scheduling, doing this. Uh, I'm not rearranging my schedule because you screwed up. I'm just not doing it. I got other appointments. I got money to make out here, you know. But I went off on them and they're, you know, looked like a complete asshole. You know, when it says 8 a.m. appointment on the on all the other paperwork coming from the broker, I assume I have an 8 a.m. appointment. So now I'm trying to uh, get this off the truck. And she's asked me if I could wait till Monday. You know, I know I just went through this whole spiel, but I said no. I was like, we need to get this off. I was like, can we get an eight, drop it off at an LTL company or a cross docking place or something? Um... It just it has to get off the truck so I can go to my other appointment. But yeah. But like I was uh, where I was at before uh, Sarah called me back and I might have to jump back off and uh, get back on there again. Uh, I stayed the night over there at the little uh, parking lot where there was American Furniture and Freight and a Lowe's. And then next door was a McDonald's so I was able to get coffee in the morning. And the lady over there was really, really cool. She, uh, she charged me for a large coffee. And then I went to go pour it into my cup because she said she couldn't fill it up there. And I um, I filled it up. And she's like, oh, hold on a second. Your cup's not full all the way. She took my cup back. She filled it up. She's like, don't worry. I got you. I'm like, all right, sweet. So I pretty much got two coffees for the price of one at that McDonald's down there in Cincy. But after I picked up this load that I'm on right now, I came over here to the TA in Gary, Indiana. And I was there last night at 2 o'clock. Well, 3 o'clock, actually. <sighs> Yeah, that's where I sit. And, you know, we had a snowstorm go through Michigan last night. And I was looking at the cameras on the DOT maps. And we, uh, looks like the roads are somewhat clear. Uh, we got a 3 p.m. appointment, like I said, over here in New Lenox to pick up a load going to our Aldi over here. 
and we're just trying to get this done it's gonna be interesting to find out where we go um, but I'm gonna hop off here we'll let you know how things go I'm gonna get on here and see if I can find a, uh, a Holland or a uh, probably Estes because there's a lot of Estes trucks here maybe we can get this dropped off at Estes and uh, um, they can deliver it on Monday themselves all right we'll let you know what goes on later all right y'all looks like we're in luck Sarah over at Transloop definitely came through for trucker D we are leaving this location right now and we are going about 10 miles down the road to a uh, cross docking place where we're gonna actually get this off loaded thing is over here it's like a little police box and there's flashing lights on it that's different I wonder if that's anything like what Detroit has the uh I you know I have to turn those down Lighters. the flashing lights on top of buildings that uh monitor like a safety type thing or something I don't know over five times I should wait for me to wait local delivery okay well I came up from this way I wonder if they're talking about that gas station or something I don't know Don Pedro Mexican bar and grill So we're going to go ahead and get on down the road and uh, get over here to this cross docking place and hopefully the reviews match what, uh, what the place is actually like. Alright y'all, see you in a bit.
y'all. Well, we got it in the dock over here at this little place. You know, let's go shut this truck off too while we wait. I do need to keep it so I can get my miles and stuff off of it. Listen for the beep. Alrighty. So they're getting it unloaded right now. Once they get it unloaded, we got to go in there and take pictures for the broker. And uh, yeah, I'm happy to get this off the truck. This has been one hell of a mishap, but you know what, Sarah from Transloop, she had really good communication. She, wow, okay. Surprised the music started playing still. Alrighty. <laughs> Anyways, um, Sarah, she had really good communication. She got it done really quick, and we're over here. We're going to be able to get to our next load, and we really need to just get our paperwork ready to go. <coughs> so once they get this off the truck, though, we'll uh, get back at you and we'll figure out which way we're going to head down there. I'm just trying to stay off the toll roads as much as possible. Um, where I was at before, it would have been perfect because I could have just took 83 down to 30 and then 30 into Linux. But, I don't know. We'll see if there's another way because I know 57 right here, which is, I'm right by I-57, is a, uh, is a toll road. And it, it will come back out on 80. It's just, I don't want to, I don't want to pay any tolls. I'm trying to keep my toll cost down. But all right, y'all, we're going to do our paperwork here real quick before they come back out and get us. These guys are hard to speak to because they got a real, real thick Russian accent and uh, having a hard time understanding them. So it is what it is. But let's just be thankful we're getting this off the truck right now and uh, we're on the move to get back home. It quit snowing. It's not raining. We just got to worry about Michigan. All right, y'all, talk to you in a bit. Later. All right, y'all. So we are getting ready to head on out of here. We got the load off the truck. And we are good to go. And we found a route that takes us over to 57 that's not considered tolls. I don't know why the GPS was trying to take me down toll roads to originally. And the ironic part is that this actually saves a mile but no minutes. You know, like I've said before in other videos, you really got to pay attention to your GPS and your maps of where you're going. Because if you don't, you might wind up screwing yourself over. You know, I might be able to make this whole little uh, spat through Illinois without hitting no toll roads. And I'm going a little bit further over on the east. We're we'll see what it uh we'll see what the GPS says for no tolls coming out of uh coming out of New Linux. See if it saves me any time or even if it adds on a little time and a couple more miles than what I'm already gonna be traveling, so what? At least I'm not raking up the tolls. Now I gotta make a left turn out of here. At least we got a turn lane for the most part. They're making a right over there. We got traffic coming from the right, we got traffic coming from the left. I got this car, <laughs> it just turned right out of here. And if I was to go and make my turn, they would be speedy up to the top, uh, up to where I'm at. But since I decided to sit here and wait for them, it's like they decided to go slow. I don't know, that's just what it seems like to me sometimes. I'm going. I'm light, so I should be able to get out here quickly. Go right here in this little intersection. This guy's behind me, he's got his four ways on, but he's in the left lane. Come on, dude. Get in the right lane. Are you for real right now? You're gonna go slow with your four ways on, but yet you're gonna you're gonna travel in the left lane. It makes no sense whatsoever. I'm gonna have to make a right turn over here. I really get agitated sometimes with people skipping me. Like, that's just ignorant right there. I mean, yeah, now you're in the left turn lane. I get it. You're going to make left turn, but it's not like you couldn't have got over once you got down here. Now we're stopping from this traffic light.
Alrighty, y'all. Looks like we're having better luck here than we did uh, this morning. That's for damn sure. Uh, a little bit cold though now after being outside flying the drone around. I mean, I'm a little bit uh, a little bit cold. Can't wait till it gets warm out. Start playing around with this thing a little bit more. It's a little windy out, but not too bad. Yeah, it's not a bad aerial view, you know. I would go out farther with it if. I wasn't so nervous about losing it. I mean, yeah, it will come back when it starts uh, starts uh, losing signal. But at the same time, it's been losing signal a little bit more easier lately. And I'm wondering if that's because my battery is in my remote are about half dead. I don't know. But yeah, it's 1236 Eastern Standard Time right now. 1136 Central Standard Time. Let me go ahead and take this hood off now. And we are getting loaded on a 3 p.m. appointment and let me tell you what I went inside that place and it's uh called up at dawn it's a bakery and they're making blueberry muffins right now and oh my god do they smell amazing my trailer is gonna smell excellent after this load comes off of it uh, we found us a road that is uh no tolls it takes us back over to uh, well, 80 to back up to 57 to US 6 and then um, US 6 over to 94 and then back down. We'll just have to fight that traffic there in uh, at the 94 area, 9480 area from the state line pretty much to I-65. They got the construction back going on again over there which I don't know what the hell they're doing. It's been great since they had it all down. The road's not that bad over there. But now they got the construction. It's still four lanes, but the lanes are they're uh, not as wide anymore. And those guys over there, they don't care. They really don't care that it's 55 mile an hour. And then it's a construction zone now, so it's like, let's just go faster. I don't know. I do complain a little bit, I guess, about other people's driving. I just, I get nervous because I don't want them to hit my truck you know I can't afford well not saying I can't afford for my equipment to go down but I just don't want nothing to happen to the equipment because this truck's an old truck and an insurance company will probably total it out before they would fix it and that's my biggest concern but that's neither here nor there um but yeah, what I was saying is we got an arrival time right now at 4.41. All the opens their gates at 9 p.m. And we got a... Uh, probably just going to have to take our time anyways. I mean, there's a little truck stop that I like to hang out at across the street from Aldi until they open up the doors. Um, Hoping the snow, the roads are cleared up. I-69, that's new pavement. And it feels kind of slippery when it gets wet out. Uh, the cameras though, the DOT cameras through Michigan weren't looking that bad this morning when I was looking at the road. So I think they'll probably be mostly dry. The I-80 was dry on the way over here. So it should be all good. But yeah, we're going to just head in here and uh, let, us, let them load us. I'm going to check fuel prices in the area and see what they got. Um, yeah. Y'all ever want to play a drinking game to my videos? Take a shot every time I say um, because I seem to say it a lot. <coughs> the guy said, though, he would come out here once they were done. And, yeah, that's about it, y'all. So, yeah, we'll get on a... Uh, just got those filler words, I guess. They're, they're filler words for me to uh, get to my next thought. I mean, I guess I could just sit here and instead of saying um or and and whatever... Until, uh, and look at the camera with a blank stare until I come up with the next statement I'm trying to say. But it's Friday, y'all. As Dave and Chuck the Freak say, it's Friday, bitches. Uh, we'll just, uh, we're gonna sit here and let them while uh, Lotus probably go over here and use this porta potty. And, uh, it'd be nice if they came out with some free samples. That'd be excellent. I am kind of hungry, though, too, so we'll see. I'm especially more hungry now that I smell the blueberry muffins. All right, y'all. We'll talk to you a bit later. All right, y'all, we are loaded up. And we are out of here. Let's see, it's actually 12.45 Central Standard Time. 
So we are out of here about three hours early. We just gotta pull this forward and uh, get the steering wheel still cocked upward. Pull this forward and uh, get back there and uh, make sure our load bar is still back there and shut the doors and put our seal on it. Yeah, he came out the door, brought me my paperwork and I was telling him about this morning, he told me about a load that he was uh, trying to move because they use uh, Knight and Swift and they weren't, uh, they were late on moving it. So I told him, I'm like, you know what, here's one of my cards right here. You guys ever have any trouble trying to move a load or something or need a load move? Give me a call. You know? Always looking for that uh that extra money. I'd love to give me a couple direct shippers that will work with me just being a single owner operator. Alright, let's get back here and uh put the seal on this uh put the seal on the trailer here. See if I uh if they actually put our uh load bar back in here. I still got a oh, is that my tire? I don't know what that is right there. Check this out. I don't know what this is right there. It looks like it's some sort of food or something. I don't know. That's different. Uh, yeah. Well, they put the load bar in, so it shouldn't fall over. Let's uh, I'll flip this around real quick. So yeah, they put the load bar in, but it's a little high. I mean, they didn't go right up against it. I got my longest strap right here that I usually uh use but eh, looks like we're good to go let's uh let's go ahead and uh shut these doors eh? i'll put my clothes back on and we'll put the seal on here all right let's get this one door All right, we got our strap, we got our door shut, and we got our seal on. Let's get over here to our little truck stop that we like to set at. And hang out till about nine o'clock. Back up in the truck. Back here. This is getting warm real quick. It's cold out there. Seems like it got colder. I wonder how Michigan Roads are gonna treat us too. Let's see, our limit weight on this load is uh, 23,000 pounds. Excellent. Combo blueberry chocolate chip muffins and combo brownie and confetti muffins. Put your seat back. All right, y'all, let's get on down the road.
What's up, y'all? It's been a minute since uh, the last clip since I came back to you. I've been on the phone. I've been parked over here across. At, oh, you can't see it right now, but the truck's out. But yeah, look at all the trucks in line right now getting into Aldi. Now, this asshole truck or trailer number 595717, plate number Florida permanent plates 4964CU. Now I am setting in the turning lane behind another one. I've been setting in the turning lane behind another truck for all oh, about uh, about an hour since eight o'clock. And you know, take this freaking headset off. It's bothering me being underneath my head. This asshole in front of me has the nerve. The truck in front of me goes ahead and starts pulling in. I disengage my brakes so I can start pulling in. This son of a bitch comes flying past all these trucks that are out here in the turning lane and uh, decides, hey, I'm more important than everybody else, so I'm just going to go right in front of this truck right here. Damn near clips the front end of my truck and I'm sitting here debating right now if I want to go up and say something to him because I know it's going to just cause me trouble, but I am pissed right now. That's what I'm talking about. Common courtesy in this industry is just gone. Just absolutely gone. You know, I... Ooh, I'm so livid right now. I am so freaking livid. You know, I come here a lot, and I really, 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 really want to say something, but I don't want to be escorted off the premises and not allowed to come here again. I don't know, y'all. I'm just, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm really pissed right now. But on another note, we are here at Aldi. We have three hours left on our clock to get home. And we just, you know, we got a 1 a.m. appointment, but this Aldi over here in uh, Weberville will let you in at 9, 9 o'clock. When they open their uh, when they open their gate. All right, super ego still up front up there. Uh, go ahead and just set these brakes again. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. Oh, I'm just so oh, I'm so mad right now, dude. These people are just oh. Uh. But yeah, we're waiting in line to get up here to the guard check, so we're just gonna go ahead and get here and set, and uh, we'll let you know what goes on. Keep you informed. Talk to you in a bit. It's gonna be an interesting night. I decided to get out of my truck and walk up and say something to the guy, and now I, I wish I could have caught. You know what? I'm gonna go through my camera and find it because I'm gonna put it on this video. But now he's coming up to me and apologizing. Like, I have a hard time believing somebody. I have a hard time believing somebody that they didn't mean to do what they did with the way he did it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Well, we're next truck in line though to check in, so we'll keep you posted. I'm cold because I was outside yelling at him and well it was starting to come down with snow again. I didn't think we were supposed to get any more snow. Thought it was over. But it is cold outside, y'all. Cold, I'm telling you. Now he's in there probably pleading with them too. Just he's like, oh I've been owner operator for six years. I barely understand a word he says with his accent. Oh. Now my final words to him were, I asked him like, you a company driver or you an owner operator? He said, owner operator. I said, well you should have a little bit more common courtesy than that. Have a good night. You see a bunch of trucks lined up, you just wait in line, that's it. 
It's it's common sense. That's all it is. I don't know. We'll see if he says anything else to me in the line. Or once we get docked. If he does, well, maybe we'll record it. I should have recorded while uh, me going up to him. I really should have. But you know what? I kind of just jumped out the truck after I ended the last clip. I, I couldn't hold it in no more. Alright, y'all. Talk in a bit. Alrighty, y'all. We got a little bit of a blizzard going on here, seems like. The way the snow just started blowing. But we got door 64, and that's usually, uh, usually where we end up at. Door 64, 62, 63. But we do come here quite a bit. You just kind of go slow through this parking lot, because if you don't, you're liable to hit someone or, uh, get hit. I don't know where the jackass from Florida went, but... It is snowing again. I hope this don't slicken up the roads tonight. I don't know what these daycats are doing. I'm probably waiting for this guy to get out of the way. in front of us with the uh, flashers flashing. That looks like dipshit right there. Well. Let's just wait and see where uh, Sharp's going right here. right now snow is coming down like I really thought the well winter weather advisory was only till 2 p.m. today I had to break the seal hope none of our stuff starting to fall yeah we're good load bar fell Hopefully they won't forget it when they're unloading. You know what? This guy is pulling out of here. Alright. I lost y'all for a minute while I put my load bar underneath the trailer. Me. 
makes me nervous trying to bet if I pull into one of these spots right here because of that courtesy factor that I was talking about earlier. Someone sees somebody trying to back and they don't care. They would just keep pulling around and whatever. We get lined up with this dock a little bit. Well, there ain't nobody on the left or right hand side of me. Got that configured. Let's go ahead and fill out our uh, sheet, taking our paperwork. Uh, what did I do with my pen? Ah, oh, there it is. It's in my pocket again. All right, y'all. We're gonna get this paperwork filled out. We're gonna walk up there and uh, turn this in. We'll get back at you in a bit. Later. Do you know how you're gonna pay tonight? Express code, credit, debit card. They send the usual link. And the dispatch pays. How do they pay? There's two links I can send. They ask them to put me in the okay. EFS. EFS, okay. EFS. It's going to be $105 tonight. Sign next to the X for me. Okay. I'll send a link to your phone so you can pay right on your phone. Perfect. Once you're unloaded, you'll get a green light. Pull out, back and across from your dock. Okay. Yep. Alicia will bring your paperwork out to your truck for you once we get it back from all these. I see. Okay. Okay. You have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. So I can expect the link. Yes. You'll get it in just a second. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. I can't stand her. <laughs> <laughs> all good fun at all these. <laughs> it's not a dull moment around here. No, it's really not. That guy that was just checking in pulled right in front of the whole line out there, right in front of me, and almost hit the front end of my truck. Oh my! And then he's like, "Oh, I've never been here. I have 9 p.m. or 9 p.m. appointment. I didn't want to be late." We don't have here. I didn't 9 see the line at all. Right. right. It's common it's, sense that there's a we line. We don't have such thing. Yeah. Our earliest appointment is 9.55. 9.55? Yeah, he's... I knew he was just bullshitting me. You have our second earliest appointment. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that this guy had a 10.55 appointment. My uh, paperwork got our uh, um, rate confirmation. It says 1 a.m. Damn. That's why I always just show up early in places because the other day I had an appointment for, uh, it said 1 o'clock. I got there, the paperwork that they gave me at the gate said I had 11 a.m. appointment. Am I 16, 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. Power break? Yeah, 94, 16. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. All set? Yeah. All right. I'll get that soon to you. All right, thank you. Talk to you guys later. I, I labeled it and All right, y'all, you heard that. They don't have 9 p.m. appointments. They have 9.55 is the earliest. And apparently my appointment was at 10.55 tonight. So I was lucky I got here when I did. I mean, I'm always early depending on what the pickup time is. <coughs> He's still gotta get out and check it. Get out and, uh, Get out, hook up his trailer. You know, that guy had the nerve to look at me and nod his head like we're buddies now. This guy's lucky I don't knock his teeth down his throat. You know, I'm not usually a mean or violent person, but when you push and pull the right strings, I get angry. As y'all seen in the past weeks. Looks like it quit snowing out though. That's a good thing. We got a red light already. Check it out, y'all. Bam! Ugh. All right. It don't look like dipshit's gonna say two words to me, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, 
and just close it out right here you know I was hoping that maybe we'd have a little bit more entertainment tonight but it looks like he's keeping his uh keeping his thoughts to himself and I tell you one thing he better not touch my truck while I was uh inside there waiting to uh waiting to get uh checked in you know honestly I should have just cut in front of him while he was standing there so but as always y'all please like share and subscribe use common sense out there y'all it's not that hard common sense is it's more common than y'all think it is turn that down we got a couple people out there japping oh um, where was i oh yeah like share it subscribe hustle hard and stay humble and we'll see y'all in the next one have a good weekend y'all later